Opened in 1994, the Eurostar terminal at London Waterloo Station operated for exactly 13 years until it closed in 2007 and services moved to St Pancras. Right now, there's a massive rebuilding programme taking place to bring the platforms back into use for South West trains. And so we went to have a look around to see what was happening and what remnants there are from the old Eurostar days. I think I came here in about 2005. This was the old taxi rank. Wasn't there an episode of EastEnders where Bianca was on the run with Ricky and the Mitchell brothers like pulled up in a car outside. Bianca! Running in. And it would have been here. It seems that nothing has been touched since it closed, including these old monitors, this bureau de change, and an information desk, which I'm pretty sure I used once. Would you like some information? <laughs> There's an old Eurostar logo as well. Wow. And there were plenty of clues around to tell us what year this had all shut down. Discovered an old tube map. Frozen in time. Obviously we know it's from 2007, but the clues are there in case you didn't know. So Shoreditch had been closed, which was, that was closed in June 2006, bus service. But the East London Line, the rest of the East London Line is still in place. This was before they then closed it uh, later in the year to become uh, the overground. In the unlit corridor, there's even an old way in and out of the tube, which will reopen again one day when the works are complete. Okay, so in here, have a pier to the window. There's another gate line. So this used to be a way in from the Eurostar terminal into the underground. And that's been locked, frozen in time for almost 10 years. Moving up top, we then got to see what's going to happen to the old entrance to the platforms. So I'm standing in the old Eurostar concourse. What used to happen is it used to get the escalators of the lift down. The custom stroke ticket barriers were there. and used to walk along under the platforms and then take escalators up to the platform level. What they're doing here to enable the new platforms to be more accessible is that they're building a bridge over from the existing National Rail Concourse over the top of this and you'll be able to walk straight through there. And we were kindly being shown around by Owen, who explained why this new work is taking place. Waterloo is the busiest station in the UK with nearly 100 million people using it every year. So the work we're doing at Waterloo is just one part of an £800 million investment to bring it back into use. In order to do that, we're going to be bringing back into use five former platforms in the Waterloo International Terminal that used to be used for the Eurostar services. Uh, we're going to be bringing them back into use and moving all the Reading and Windsor services over to there and that will free up a lot of space uh, in the rest of Waterloo so that we can boost the capacity. And so up onto the old platforms for a look around. So I'm on the old platform 21. I haven't been here in years. Come on down with me. To my right down here, the tracks have been removed. And this signifies the point where the tracks are still going to run to. So all this section here where the tracks are gone, this is going to be infilled and become part of a new concourse. Everything is disused and dusty, but work was happening all over the place to get it partially open for next year. So when's all this work going to be completed? Well, in August of next year, 2017, these platforms will open for a few weeks whilst they divert trains from the closed platforms one to nine over there whilst they do some work at the rest of Waterloo Station. After that's complete, this will then be finished off totally and will be open to the public totally finished in December 2018.